Hey everybody, Dr. Scott Bland here, and you may be watching this video because you have been seeing the erythritol panic that has been going on. And I wanna sit down for a second and kind of break down some of the reasons why this particular study that came out, I'll link it below, does not necessarily show that erythritol is a cause of this. There is a correlation, not a causation. Those are very, very different things. Let's break it down. First of all, the difference between correlation and causation. Um, for instance, I believe it has been pretty statistically shown that smoking does cause lung cancer. Um, owning a cigarette lighter does not cause lung cancer, but there would be a higher potential correlation of people with lung cancer may have bought more cigarette lighters over their lifespan, but buying cigarette lighters does not cause lung cancer, right? So I think that that's maybe an illustration of correlation versus causation. And when you read some of these kind of pretty alarmist headlines, they're basically saying erythritol is linked to this, uh, erythritol may cause this, is this thing causing heart attacks and uh, heart conditions and major adverse cardiovascular events. Um, but really they're not doing a great job of toning down the rhetoric enough to say, hey, there's a study that showed there may be some correlation um, and trying to specifically stay away from claiming causation. So let's talk about some flaws in this particular study where they observed some people and some people are saying, hey, there are thousands of people in the study. So therefore it's a particularly great one, but there are some flaws there. One flaw that I noticed first is they measured erythritol uh, once. They measured it once and then they just tracked them for time. So there was a one point in time measurement of erythritol levels. And they said, based on this, whatever, whoever had the highest level will track how long it goes. And the folks who had the highest level on that one day over the next couple of years had a higher risk of having uh, adverse events, uh, cardiovascular events. Now the, the trouble there is it's just once. So you don't know, cause this is a, a thing that can fluctuate based on, I had an erythritol candy today or something like that. Uh, those levels can fluctuate pretty dramatically. And so it's not a good marker for over time. The other thing that didn't happen is they didn't measure how much of it are these people eating or is it some of the erythritol level that just literally occurs in our body naturally. So they weren't tracking people who are high intake eaters of erythritol products have a higher risk of cardiovascular stuff. They weren't doing that. That's not part of the deal. And then separately, because they had a couple of different kind of factions to this, they took eight people, eight, that's less than 10, the number eight, and they took some of their blood and they added some of this erythritol to the, the blood cells and just watched how the platelets performed. And they said that the, the platelets had some dysfunction um, if there was more erythritol added, which A, does not necessarily classify through how much does it do if you're eating the erythritol, uh, but certainly there is some proof there that if you just pour erythritol on blood in a vial, then yes, there will be some, uh, some dysfunction to the platelets potentially over eight people, right? So there are not enough issues with this particular study to, to claim what's going on. And another thing that we need to address is that even if there is a proven over time correlation between higher erythritol levels, if they did a better study where they tracked it over time and they didn't just do that one point in time that we mentioned earlier, if they were to track that and prove that folks who have a higher amount of erythritol tend to have higher cardiovascular events, then you have to figure out if there's a causal link at all and then which direction the causation goes. Because it could be that folks who have other medical conditions leading them towards these big cardiovascular events, that that dysfunction could be increasing erythritol levels. So there's a, a big complicated thing going on there. Now we may find out as this study might trigger extra studies that have a more um, robust methodology, we may find out that erythritol is legitimately trying to um, or statistically harm us all. Uh, but this study does not prove that, okay? So would I tell any patient of mine that based on this study, you 100% need to avoid erythritol, you are drastically increasing your risk of cardiovascular events. I don't think this study proves that. Now, will we think that in the future with a good study? We just might, who knows? I mean, if you have a choice between you know, an apple or, um, you know, some, some good whole, whole, uh, whole vegetables, as opposed to an erythritol sweetened processed food product, which would be healthier, man, I, I'd go with vegetables all day long as the healthier option. Uh, but I don't think it's fair and, and uh, scientifically accurate to go ahead and lay the, um, the risk of cardiovascular events at erythritol based off this study. In the future, maybe we'll have more. We do not have it yet. And please understand that whenever 
Um, there is a massive panic in the, in the news articles and all that sort of stuff in terms of claiming that a particular study says something. But there's a very decent chance that the study does not say something. Please remember, alarming news stories happen to get clicks. Those clicks get money. And there is a certain profit margin in um, getting panicked clicks and getting shares because you want to tell your friends. Um, this thing does seem to be, at this point, uh, much ado about nothing from a scientific standpoint. Maybe we'll know more in the future. Um, link me some more studies when they come up and I'll respond to those. But this is um, not exactly the dramatic event that the headlines want to tell you. So uh, for what it's worth, erythritol not 100% in my mind shown to cause these things yet. There does appear to potentially be a correlation, uh, but I think we are far from causation. So hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, leave your questions below if you got some. Thank you very much.